introduce themselves, give them a, a couple minutes to just say hi and speak about themselves. And we do have signs for the taking because I've been getting emails and requesting yard signs. So how do you want to start this off? Okay, we will have Richard Swartz. Hello, Richard. Cape County Health Hooray. Board. Yay! So, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, what I'm running on, why I decided to run, was the way uh, the decisions that were made during COVID. You know, I didn't agree with a lot of them. I don't think they, the board, uh, I think there was data out there that was relevant that they probably didn't look at. Sure. And so, uh, I told I them. <laughs> I told them. <laughs> yeah. And so, anyway, that's that's the reason I'm running. Uh, hopefully, it'll never happen again. But if I win, and if it happens again, I'll be on the front lines. And uh, I found out that we really, uh, the health board, has a little lenience from what the state health board sends down. We don't have to abide by that completely. So if I'm there and it happens again, I'll be on the conservative side. Well, I'm Kim Swartz and I'm running, I am a candidate for the Cape Girardeau School Board. And I have uh, one reason for running or one prominent reason for running. Two, actually, Henry and Layla. Those are our grandchildren. And it all started during COVID as well when we saw our grandchildren uh, kept from school, kept from learning, kept in masks, suggesting on campus that they would come home and be vaccinated. Um, in fact, our grandson suggested to Dick that he wanted to get a vaccine to keep, keep us safe. <laughs> So sweet. But all of that uh, ide ideology came out of the school system. And so we were concerned about that. And lo and behold, Linda Reitzel and I were talking uh, and found out about CRT. I didn't even know what that was, but when I learned about what that was, I was pretty disturbed. And so speaking before the school board, I uh, was told they didn't have CRT, but they just changed the names of it. So over a year and a half, I've visited the school board meetings. I've learned a lot. I've read their policy manuals, not completely. And I've also um, studied some of the laws from Jefferson City out of the Department uh, Committee of Education there. And um, feel like I have prepared myself for the position to represent parents and children, primarily, and also our community, our values. The school board used to be the front line that represented the voters and the taxpayers, but that is changing because of money coming down from other sources. Um, it, we are not the, the primary funder, so to speak. Well, maybe by 2%. Uh, so our voice is not heard. And um, that's what I wanna do. I wanna be a watchman. And I always think of Mike when I think of that. So that I think I know what to look for. And I can say, halt, let's talk about this. Will I have that much influence or power to change anything? I'm not sure about that. It depends on how many other people like me uh, end up on the board. But I will certainly let you know about it and nothing will be kept secret. So that's my stance. Transparency, parents and kids. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Darcy Lilly, and I'm running for the Jackson School Board. And I think I'm highly qualified because I am a veteran, and I served the United States Air Force for 20 years, uh, many leadership positions. Uh, I also have a doctorate in education and a master's degree in education technology and a master's degree in human resource development. My husband says I have over myself. <laughs> so. 
Um, but I do plan on using that experience and using that education um, along with my faith-based conservative traditional values uh, to make changes uh, to influence the other board members. I have been a chief learning officer for an organization of more than 100,000 people and I also have worked in the nonprofit area with uh, teaching leadership and communication skills. I'm a small business owner and I really have a passion for leadership and for supporting our teachers and supporting our children. Um, I think it's very important that we teach them about the Republic and how important it is that they, that they defend it. So that's why I'm running. Thank you. Wow. And it is William Lewis. What a blessing. Back. Um I do go by Billy for those of you that know me, but um so I'm running for re-election uh to the Cape County Health Board. Um I ran for the vacated seat that was left by Roland Sanders when he passed away uh last year and was elected into that seat. So this year it finished out that term, so this will actually be the first start of the new term for a three year stint. Currently on the board you have myself and Eric Becking. And Dr. Becking has done a, it did a very good job of trying to hold the line before I got there. Um, and for those of you that know, the, the ideologies or the mentality that Dr. Becking and I have when it comes to some of the things that the health board is responsible for is a little bit different than what um, has existed on the health board before. So this year we're hoping to uh, gain a majority of like-minded individuals on the health board and we definitely need your help and the help of the community to do so. Um, we saw firsthand just how much authority the health board can commandeer um, given the right set of circumstances. And the fact that those circumstances could, uh, in fact, uh, resurface in the future uh, just means that we need to make sure that we have people in those places that are going to act in the best interest of the population as well as uh, constitutionally sound. So I would just ask um, that if you have any questions of me specifically, uh, you can see me after here. Um, I have a few signs up here. I have a, a, a broad dozen with me, um, but I'll have some more later. For those of you that had my signs from last year, if you still have them, please reuse those. Um, and uh, I do have a Facebook page. It's the same one that I had last year, uh, so you can go back on there. I will be uh, updating and posting new uh, content on there here soon as we get closer to the election. But uh, again, I just ask that you get to know who I am. If you don't know who I am, understand where I'm coming from and know that my goal on the health board is not necessarily to do anything radical, uh, radical, but it is just to make sure that the decisions that we make are based on the data and not fear and, and ignorance. So uh, thank you.